Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't mind taking a seat, we're going to get this evening going. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was quick. Well done. Good evening, one and all, and welcome to Western Australia's first ever Change Maker Awards Gala Dinner. How good is that? Yes, you deserve it. My name is David Berry, I'll be your MC this evening. I'm absolutely pumped to be here and it's so good to see 500 people in the room tonight. Incredible. Where else would you rather be? Perth, we're killing it. And 500 true trailblazers and renegades for Containers for Change. You guys are absolute heroes. Thank you for turning up tonight and doing everything that you do. Now, before I continue, I would like to welcome Vaughan Maguire to the stage to officially open the 2021 Change Makers Awards for our Welcome to Country. Vaughan. Thank you, family, friends. It's a um, very, very big pleasure for me to be standing here on uh, Wajak Country, um, being a representative of uh, my people who've actually existed um, over 60,000 years. Um, on this country and um, to see what you as I say a family because what I see in front of me are just all family uh, people who work together who have one passion one thought in your mind and that's recycling and um, to me that's a very very important issue because the way that we live our lives today on this earth is nothing but um, destructive towards the earth and um, even this year's theme for our NAIDOC week was Heal Country. And uh, when we looked at it, it was a very, very important theme because if uh, you guys stop doing what you're doing and we stop doing what we were, we were doing, um, our children, our grandchildren will never have a future. They will never have country to learn. And to learn, people must listen listen to those who know the country. And um, I believe that uh, even these days now, Aboriginal culture, um, being the oldest living culture on earth, still carrying the oldest living stories and songs and languages that we still currently speak. But to me, it's um, very, very important to hold that within my heart, in my heart and in my mind because by listening and as we teach each other, as we walk this country throughout our journeys, throughout our lives, um, we must listen to what the land's saying to us. And um, I can't express that enough. I exist and I came from, uh, my father was Walter Maguire Senior. My mother is May Stack. And just outside, we've got um, Matagarab, which is what this area is called. And my great-great-grandmother was one of the ladies who actually seen the white sails coming up the Swan River, the Durbel Yirigan. And um, all through this system of um, what we call our bloodlining, which is the Swan River and every other water and creek that actually lives throughout this country, is the same as our veins and our bodies because if we lose one then we're slowly going to deteriorate and that's the way the country believes and breathes and so we must understand what's actually happening to the land and um, the very reckon, uh, recycling that you do as I say first too uh, congratulations to every each and every one of you who have um, actually been here because as Dave said, you know, um, you're all heroes. And it's exactly what you're doing. It's, um, it's amazing work. And um, so as we walk our paths within our lives, um, my father uh, was not a man of education. He did not know how to read and write. 
but he said to myself and um, my five brothers, um, sons, um, I've written seven books in my life. And we, sat and we listened to what Dad was uh, saying. And um, his meaning for his seven books and what he wrote is the knowledge that he's been writing in our hearts and in our minds to live as men. And we do have one beautiful sister. And um, what we do with our lives is very, very important for our children and our grandchildren. And so he actually wrote the story of my life and my brother's lives and my one sister who actually won Tamworth back in 1986, uh, best female vocalist. But what she's done throughout her career and her life is the very stories that her six, six sons actually carry now and what they're doing um, for their lives, for their children. And each and every one of us, we have energy in our body and we need to actually use that energy for positive change because as we walk this country, no matter where we're from, which part of the world we come from, what language we speak, and the religion that we carry within our culture, we are all on one journey and may we unite as human beings, not as individual races. And um, I do believe that we have, we have the best state within the whole entire world. Um, Australia is the most beautiful country and um, as we celebrate tonight, first of all, I've been invited to do a welcome to country and I'll do it in Wajak language, which is my language from this region. And um, it's one of our oldest practices without, throughout Australia, Aboriginal Australia, because when, when we leave our area here, and no matter where we go, even for Salis Springs or through to Queensland and South Australia, um, up in the gold fields, in the Pilbara systems, in the Kimberley systems, where all Ngalama people came from, my people. And um, when we enter their area, they give us a welcome to country because country is still alive in our hearts, in our souls and in our minds, and it's still speaking to us. And that's the reason why we need to keep everything very, very close to our hearts and what we actually do to this earth. And so um, Welcome to Countries have actually been conducted for years and years since the time and since um, the land was born, ever since the knitting, the dreaming, when the land was soft. And as I say, the sun, the ngak, first kissed the miak, the moon. And that was over a place we call Wajamup, Rotten Island. And over there before settlement came through and it was turned into a prison island, it um, still is to us the entry into our spiritual heaven where our old people go to rest in peace. But even though the land is still alive and they still walk with us within culture and country, may we all walk together as human beings and help each other, pick each other up because I don't think there's enough love in this world and enough respect. So yarn by yarn, wanju, wanju nu ngany boja, boja ngalaka boja, boja deman ka maman ka boja. So hello and welcome, wel welcome to Wajak country, my country, your country, our country, lands of our grandmothers and grandfathers who have walked this land before us. So as I'm standing looking at you as you are seated, makes my heart proud, strong and happy to represent my people here on these lands that we all live and share together as people. So tonight, congratulations to everyone that's actually here. Um, even congratulations to me because I'm a winner, I got here. So. <laughs> but... Um, no, just keep doing what you're doing because it's very, very, very important to each and every one of us as we stand. And um, 
I always perform a song, which is a Wajak song, one of our oldest songs that we still carry. And um, I must tell you a quick story about it because when we went to London in 2018, um, first time ever out of this country, out of Australia, and uh, those who know London, it was my first time there with my three sons, but um, you can tell the tourists because we had blankets and jumpers and jackets and everything on and people looked at us and they had a funny little smirk and I said, no, it's all right, mate, we come from Australia, you know. <laughs> and um, it was just really interesting because we performed three nights in front of 60,000 people per night. So it was a really, really lovely experience to actually meet gypsies and English people, Scottish and Irish people and all different other people that came from all different parts of this world. So as I say, we walk as one on this country with one vision, one story to tell. Because when Dad was actually telling us that story, he said, you're now our books. And what you do in your life now and the day that you walk and what you do ev each and every day, your children, may they be healthy and walk the same way that I taught you to walk, my son. So this song is about uni uniting people together. It's about um, the trapdoor spider that actually <coughs> originates out of um, Jinnaganbo and Karakata, which is Kings Park. And um, to me, it's a very special song because when the spider's actually sung and called out of his trap door, he actually webs his web around us. And in the old days, before settlement was here, all our other tribes and families and brothers and sisters, and uh, when he was sung out and he pulled his web, he actually brought us closer and closer together so that we had that one path to walk. And um, it's about unity of people coming together to live with each other and respect each other. Wanare kan malana, wanare kan malana, poyongoda waningo, poyongoda waningo. Wanare kan malana, poyongoda waningo. Wanare kan malana, wanare kan malana, poyongoda waningo, poyongoda waningo. Wanare gan malana poyongoda waningo. Wanare gan malana wanare gan malana poyongoda waningo. Poyongoda waningo. Wanare gan malana poyongoda waningo. Chi. So thank you, congratulations to each and every one of you and thank you for having me here tonight. May God bless you. Thank you very much, Devon. What a voice. Now, we're here tonight to celebrate those at the forefront of Containers for Change here in WA. The refund point operators, community groups, and schools that have realized the potential in 10 cent containers, saving them from the fill, creating jobs, and supporting their neighbors. The trailblazing army. Head to the video. What does a container contain? What can a can become? What'll a bottle be? When these containers are tossed, what is lost? What's the cost? possible prospect for bottles to live on to prosper? 
but a monster. Bottles and cans, containers and cartons, used up, disregarded, collected, ejected, into the lair of the monster they're digested. Their dreams of a second life they reckoned might be beckoning, reincarnated, reappreciated, replenishing, are brought to a standstill. Forever in landfill, those future lives snuffed out like a candle. But this can be prevented, those lives extended, your containers reinvented. By renegades bringing better days, the bottles and cans, undercade, a crusade. A brigade of trailblazers, shape and behavior, an exchange, a no-brainer. A change for containers. So collect and protect your expended containers. From your folks, from your friends, from your school, from your neighbors. We'll save them from landfill and take them and then their dreams can continue again and again. Don't let your container's potential go to waste. We can beat it if we don't feed it. How good is that? What a piece that is. Brilliant. Relatable on so many levels. Awesome stuff. Now, we have eight awards to celebrate tonight, and we will be inviting each reward recipient up to the state to say a few words. So prepare those speeches, because you could be up here in a little while. It is now my great pleasure to introduce to the stage the Chief Trailblazer of the Warrell Tribe, Chief Executive of Officer, Tim Cusack. Trailblazers and renegades, welcome all. Thank you, Devon, for a magnificent welcome to country. You invoke in us a sense of how connection to country is so important, reflective of the longest continuing culture of this country uh, on this wonderful planet. Celebrating that connection is essential to reconciliation, and we thank you again for reminding us. As you would expect, the team have me on a very tight leash tonight, so I only have two jobs. To welcome you all here and close formalities. Given the current benchmark of failure, I better not disappoint. <laughs> tonight we have the most wonderful group of people in the room to celebrate the first anniversary of Containers for Change and participate in our inaugural Changemaker Awards. Tonight we celebrate excellence in all its forms. We celebrate success. We celebrate inclusion and what it looks like in the broader Containers for Change family. We celebrate potential and what it can and is unleashing. Testament to that potential is the 231 stories of success and achievement reflected in the applications we received for the awards. Thank you to everyone who contributed to those applications. We, th we were amazed by the stories you told and excited by the potential represented in the room tonight and beyond. We're joined tonight by the Honourable Amber Jade Sanderson, Minister for Environment, Climate, Action and Commerce, and Member for Morley, a passionate supporter of our work and what we are achieving. We are delighted that you have been able to join us for tonight's celebration. Minister Sanderson is joined by our inaugural minister, the Honourable Stephen Dawson, Minister for Mental Health, Aboriginal Affairs, Industrial Relations and Deputy Leader of the Government in the Legislative Council representing mining and pastoral region. Minister Dawson led the passage of the legislation through to Parliament that created what is represented in this room tonight. We are very pleased you are able to join us to celebrate. We welcome Hannah Beasley, our inaugural Head of External Relations and now the Honourable Member for Victoria Park, the electorate in which we are celebrating tonight. To me, Hannah, a wise counsel then and since. The Board of Worrell, and particularly our Chair, the Honourable Sheila McHale, has worked closely alongside the Executive and provided the direction and support we needed to ensure we navigated COVID, ensuring the scheme launched on the 1st of October and everything we have achieved since. The Board leads a robust company and we are well placed to pursue the opportunities before us. 
We have three Sydney-based directors, Jeff Maguire, Ed Dows and Katrina Edelor, unable to travel, but with us nonetheless via a live stream of tonight's event. Welcome to you as well. Tonight we bring together for the first time an amazing array of people who believe in containers for change and work every day for the benefit it brings to the people of Western Australia. Our beverage company community is now the leading proponent of producer responsibility in action, with many of you exploring ways to utilise the consumer purchase decision to draw attention to containers for change in ways that can both inspire and motivate people to leverage the potential in every 10 cent container. We are so pleased to see many of you here tonight supporting containers for change. I would like to welcome in all in the room tonight who are part of our amazing and incredible, diverse, passionate, committed Refund Point network. You guys are amazing and inspire us at Containers for Change every day. Earlier today, 45, 145 of our Refund Point network met for our inaugural conference to discuss the future and have a little bit of fun. We are incredibly excited about the opportunities in front of us and look forward to working alongside you to realise them. Let's harness our collective passion to drive to 85. On our journey so far, we have formed incredible, incredibly diverse professional and commercial partnerships that are critically important to inspiring the community to join our crusade to prevent recyclable material going to landfill. We need to work together with partners to motivate them to, have, to behave differently, to be the change. Our relationships with the likes of the brand agency, HWL Ebsworth, Row Group, Waste for Whack, the Perth Scorchers, the Fremantle Dockers, Aqua, Australia Post, Perth Zoo, Perth Airport, Royal Perth Show, the Ord Valley Muster and the Galati Group and the many more who have been instrumental to our success to date. We welcome many of you here tonight and thank you for working in partnership with us to ensure we can maximise the potential of containers for change as a force for good in the community. We are in excellent company. We're also joined tonight by representatives of the waste and recycling industry and local, local and regional councils. We know Containers for Change cannot achieve its objectives unless we can inspire and partner with you in ways from which we can mutually benefit. We are now on that journey and there is so much potential in front of us. We are delighted you are here and we believe that you will take away from tonight will enable us to partner ever more strongly. In the room we are also joined by representatives of award nominees and others who have made wonderful contributions to our first year and those who plan to do so in the coming year. I am so privileged to work alongside every day an incredible group of people who are so invested in and committed to what they do. To the Worrell team members here tonight and to your partners whose support is invaluable, welcome and thank you. Finally, we are able to live stream, we are able to live stream tonight's event to people who could not be here. This includes many of our refund point operators from the distant regions, partners in Sydney who ensure Containers for Change transacts every day, and the 4,200 community groups from Columbaroo to Esperance who benefit from the scheme and several others. Finally, I would like to, the opportunity to acknowledge and welcome our sponsor partners for today's conference and tonight's gala reward event. Cleanaway, Maztec, Container Deposit Systems, Ramondas, The West Australian, Perth Now, AV Partners, Containers, Container Exchange Services, The Brand Agency, Concilion, Policy Commercial, The Print and Sign Co and Row Group. Without your investment in, t in our success today, we would not have been able to stage what, uh, such a wonderful event. A huge welcome to one and all. Tonight, we, still, we tell the story of our first year. We will celebrate excellence and get a deeper appreciation of the potential in front of all of us. 
We are excited and hope you are too. So enjoy the wonderful Crown service, relax with good company, and let us take you on the magical journey of our first year. It is now my great pleasure to welcome the Chair of Worrell, the Honourable Sheila McHale, to the stage. Well, thank you, Tim, and welcome to you all. And if um, Vaughan is still in the room, can I thank you, Vaughan, for your welcome to country and to acknowledge your father, whom I knew and admired, and he was a great singer, so I can see where you've got your voice from. So thank you, Vaughan. Well, welcome. Over 500 in the room. Tim's told you who you are. It's just fantastic that you've joined us here tonight. If I could, though, acknowledge our Minister uh, for Environment, the Honourable Amber Jade Sanderson, welcome Minister, and our inaugural uh, former Minister, the Honourable Stephen Dawson, our Board Directors who are here in the room and also hopefully uh, live streaming, and of course to Tim and his amazing team, thank you so much for bringing this event together to be a reality and wow, it is a great reality. So just join me in acknowledging Tim and the team at Worrell. <laughs> Woo. Ta tonight is a time to reflect, it's certainly a time to have fun, but we want to reflect, we want to celebrate the stories and the achievements of our first year. And to be honest, I can relate to a lot of the emotions of new parents at the end of their first year um, of parenthood. The getting to the first birthday milestone is perhaps as, um, a testimony to sanity as much as it is to exercise in patient care and devotion. That endless cycle of anticipation, excitement, progress, setbacks and exhaustion all of which come with parenthood, so too we felt them all in our first 365 days. However, before I continue, I'd ask you to turn your attention to the screens for a quick recap of our first 12 months. <laughs> for change, it's, it's brought employment, it, it, you know, it, it's put bread on the table. I didn't realise how big it was and, um, and, and it just meant so much to me now that, that I can see a change in the community, I can be a part of that change in the community. Away, we jumped on board because we thought this would be great for our community. We do it as a whole family. <laughs> Yeah. 
We have achieved enormous amount in the last 12 months, but I have to say that early in 2020, we were not so sure what our immediate future would look like. With COVID-19, it soon became obvious that we would have to postpone the launch of the scheme. So from its original start in June 2020 to a possible November 2020 start, or even sometime in 2021, we were delighted when the state government gave us the green light to actually start on the 1st of October. And whilst that delay was difficult at the time, it actually ended up to our advantage. It allowed us to build further relationships and to strengthen our emerging network of refund points. And this has given us such a robust network that we have today. Over the first month, we saw the community get right behind Containers for Change. Month on month figures continued to increase and all the while, we focused on facing challenges and turning them into opportunities. The challenge of landfill, the challenge of litter, the challenge of recycling, the opportunity of 10 cents in every container, the opportunity to create more than 730 jobs across 253 refund points from Esperance to Wyndham and virtually everywhere in between. The opportunity to remove 765 million containers from landfill and have them genuinely recycled. The opportunity to support charities, schools and community groups to raise $2.5 million for socially important projects. $2.5 million that would not have gone into those projects without the scheme. The government's commitment to employment opportunities for vulnerable and disadvantaged people, focus on accessibility and focus on community benefits, have produced dramatic results and significant change. And I believe and we believe at Worrell that we've created a container deposit scheme which is more powerful than it otherwise would have been without that commitment and vision. So again, thank you to our ministers. So yes, reaching an 85% uh, redemption rate is our legal obligation, but it's much more than that. It's much more important. It is vital that through the scheme, we protect our environment both locally and globally. So 85% is about country, it is about community, and it's about care of the environment at a critical time. But it's also about your business and your livelihoods. So our commitment to you uh, facing the next 12 months is to reach 70% by to the end of 2022, to support you to grow your business and to ensure that the community enjoys the best experience they possibly can when connecting with Containers for Change. Tonight we recognize many outstanding finalists and winners who have taken up the challenge and who personify business excellence, creativity, and service. And with such collective commitment to the scheme, our drive to 85% will become a little easier. Someone said to me last week that we had changed, the scheme had changed, the culture of WA uh, through the scheme. And what an amazing assessment after 12 months. Tonight is called change makers for a reason. You and every one of you are part of that transformational process. And I'd like to thank you on behalf of the board of Worrell for participating in the scheme, for the work you have done, your part um, in Containers for Change over the last 12 months. It has been a whirlwind 12 months but we believe that we are definitely on the road to 85%. So thank you, and I would now, now like to invite to the stage Minister for the Environment, the Honourable Amber Jade Sanderson. Welcome, Minister.
Thank you, Sheila. And I too would like to acknowledge the traditional owners on the land of which we meet this evening, the Wajak people of the Noongar Nation, and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. And thank you, Vaughan, for that wonderful welcome to country. Uh, it's hard to believe, actually, that Containers for Change is only one years old because the, the breadth of what you have achieved in 12 months is extraordinary. It's become so much a part of, I think, the fabric of our community. Uh, and it is, it's actually really hard to imagine that it's only 12 months ago uh, that we launched this scheme. Um, a few weeks ago, my six-year-old son said to me, Mum, did you know there's a place you can go where you take your empty cans and they give you money? I said, really? We should go. Um, he's in pre-primary, and the fact that our kids out there are really passionate and excited about this scheme means that this is a scheme that will last and it will be successful. And that is enormous credit to the leadership of the scheme and every single person in this room. So I must acknowledge the Chair, Sheila McHale, the CEO, Tim Cusack, uh, and a very special acknowledgement and, uh, and shout out to the former Minister, Stephen Dawson. Um, it cannot be understated uh, what it took to deliver such an enormous scheme in our state under extremely stressful circumstances and the uncertainty of COVID. So I want to congratulate the leadership and every single person in this state uh, because it is also much, much more than recycling, as important as that is. And we have, in one year, lifted the recycling of containers by 20%, by 20% in one year. That is an enormous <laughs> undertaking. This scheme is one of the most robust and successful in the country. And I have to thank every person in this room for that on behalf of the McGowan Labor government. Uh, we've exceeded our refund point targets. We've created more than 700 jobs, nearly half of those members of our community, people with disability, the long-term unemployed, regional jobs, Aboriginal people. This is a fantastic scheme that has a long, long life ahead of it. We have ambitious targets. 85% is a hugely ambitious target, but we can get there. We can absolutely get there. And I know starting a refund point has its challenges. And I know that we are all up to working together to overcome those challenges, to maintain the incredible success of this important scheme. We are very proud of this scheme as a, as a Labor government, and we are very proud to continue to support this scheme. And I want to thank every single person in this room for their commitment and the success. And it's great to see these awards tonight, being able to acknowledge much of that commitment and success. And over 200 entries for the awards is really extraordinary. So thank you, and I look forward to working with you over the next 12 months to see this scheme expand and, and lift those rates of recycling. Thank you. Well, now if you can't spot me, I'm down on the, down on the ground here where that all just happened because I just thought I needed that. I need the energy from that. That was incredible. Now, I'm about to go for a walk, and this would usually strike fear in people's hearts, but I'm going to have a chat with someone in the crowd. And... Um, Someone rather exceptional, actually, on Table 15, who I'm about to have a quick chat with. Lovely lady from Pinjarra, and has an exceptional story to share. But before I do, take a look at the screens. Let's find out a little bit more about Jane Danzy and her son, Cameron. Put your hands. life and he actually shows us how to embrace life. He is the biggest life lesson because in those moments when you think things are not worth it, you only have to look at Cameron and be reminded that life can be fleeting and short and that he's here and he's here for a reason and he just loves every day. Jane, amazing story. Thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit what Containers for Change means to you and to your son Cameron. 
um, it has completely changed our lives. <laughs> we only started on the 23rd of December and we are now part of our community. We moved to the country so Cameron had a country town around him. We now know our town. We now know our region. We now know people all over Perth. Um, he collects three days a week and it has been phenomenal and he's learnt new skills that we never thought he was going to be able to do. Changed our lives. <laughs> Incredible. You just mentioned the community, but what has the local community of Pinjarra been like? Have they gotten around you? Absolutely. We live in an estate within Pinjarra and they were on board day one. We had 23 collections on our first day and they, they're building a community and they're leaving him little gifts. Someone made him a shirt the other day with Cameron Collects on it and a birthday present and we didn't expect any of that. We just hoped that a few people would leave out a few cans. And I added it up yesterday. We've recycled, well, sorry, we've saved from landfill 153,868 <laughs> containers. That is unbelievable. Round of applause, well deserved. Now, you mentioned a few skills and things that Cameron's collected, but what's changed since Cameron's taken on the job? He's been able to develop some independence because we get people to leave their containers at the front of their properties. They still surprise us and they leap out of their doors when we're least expecting them because they <laughs> want to say hi, but they leave them out. So when it's safe to do so, we can let Cameron get out of the car, go and pick it up, put it in the car. When we go to the depots, when it's safe to do so, every depot's different, he can help take the containers, sort the containers. So he's developed skills that... Honestly, guys, he was sitting watching Wiggles. Like, it, it wasn't a great future as an adult, and now he has got a future. We've actually created a business for him, and he's got a purpose to get up every day. And he's killing it. And he's killing it. <laughs> Amazing. Now, you mentioned there was a goal in the video. What's, what's the goal? What are we getting to? Cameron loves cars, but he cannot drive a car. <laughs> so we're hoping we can purchase a car for him so that it will be his car. The radio is set for him. The front uh, passenger seat is his. We will drive him around in it. Um, it had to get pushed back a bit because our station wagon and our support workers' ute was not big enough for our collection, so we had to go and invest in an 18-year-old van. So... The car's pushed back a bit, but it's well worth it. But eventually, we'll buy him a car so that just like every other young man, he gets his first car. How good's that? Brilliant. Now, living with a child with a disability, incredible what he's been able to do and what you've been able to do with him. What, what advice would you give to other families in a similar situation? Everyone has abilities. It does not matter what your experience is. Cameron had pneumococcal meningitis. He's got severe brain damage. He has abilities to connect with people. He can carry things. He's very patient. He loves to sit in the car. It was a perfect storm for a business. That's where it came from. How good is that? Round of applause. Jane Danzi, her amazing son, Cameron. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the night. Well, we'll now take a short break so everyone can enjoy their entree. I'll be back really soon. Keep on going, everybody. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying that delicious entree. Uh, I hope Tim's finished, because I'm now going to invite back up to the stage Worrell CEO, Tim Cusack. Thank you very much. Another round of applause, Tim. Oh, wow, we. So overall, more than 230 award entries were received by Worrell for this first ever Change Maker event with an extremely strong representation from the regions. The next five awards were open to refund point operators throughout the state in areas of safety, customer focus, community engagement, innovation and local marketing initiatives. So let's get started. Our first award for the evening is the Safety Award, which has been generously sponsored by Mastec. Safety in the workplace and throughout the Refund Point network is a core priority for Containers for Change. Finalists in this category have demonstrated exemplary safety initiatives and are using best practice health and safety processes to deliver a safe environment for their employees, customers and stakeholders. 
The 2021 finalists for this category in alphabetical order are City of Bunbury, Refund Point. Yeah, Bunbury in the house. City of Stirling, Container Refund Centre. Community Recycling WA. Fremantle Containers for Change. And Northwest Recycling. How cool is that? The lights come on. It's amazing. Tim, if you would like to announce the winner. Thank you, David. The recipient of the 2021 Safety Award, sponsored by Maztec, is the City of Bunbury Refund Point. Tried to sneak off, not up in here. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everyone. <laughs> By the way, we surprised, so that's no words. Uh, the first is thank you very much, uh, uh, all organiza organizer and this whole year uh, helping us, supporting us, world team. And congratulations. Congratulations to you guys all, first year completed. And then uh, City of Bunbury, uh, also the other department in the City of Bunbury, and then City of Bunbury crew leaders, Yay. the beautiful Yay. ladies. <laughs> and then also that's we would like to say that's other refund point uh, team as well, that we would like to connect to other refund point to make the improvement and development uh, CDS more in the future. So the, please, if you are uh, interested in contact with uh, us, please contact me and uh, we develop each other <laughs> <laughs> and make it a more beautiful environment. Thank you. And I just want to say as well, because I'm a safety rep there and I'm so proud to be part of the CDS Bunbury. Um, looking forward to the future and looking after the planet and recycling everything we do. And safety comes first. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Good stuff. City of Bunbury in the house. Our next award is the Customer Focus Award, sponsored by Container Deposit Systems. An excellent customer experience is critical to ongoing success of Containers for Change across our great state. All of our finalists have demonstrated they are delivering outstanding experiences for customers and have provided examples on how the initiatives they are undertaking were identified and delivered. The 2021 finalists in this category, again in alphabetical order, are Avon Valley Cash for Containers. Bridging the Gap. Cash for Containers, Rockingham. Woohoo! And MR Refund. Tim, to announce the winner. The recipient of the 2021 Customer Focus Award, sponsored by Container Deposit Systems, is Avon Valley Cash and Containers.
wonderful is this, but congratulations to all that are here, um, distinguished guests and um, everybody. It's been amazing to Tim and to Tony and the crew from Worrell. I thank you. Um, this has been an amazing journey, but our biggest focus has been on our customers and making this process as simple as we possibly can for them. And uh, they have been our backbone and the human factor has been amazing. And I am so pleased to be able to receive such a wonderful award. Thank you very much. Well done. Well done. Beautiful. Before we go any further, I just wanted to give a shout out to the band. They've been unbelievable tonight. Luke Maness. Is there anything sexier than a man on a saxophone? I dare you to try. There's not. Luke Maness, Juna Lee, Alex Reed. How good are they? Now, on to the third award for tonight. The, com oh, yes. the Community Engagement Award, sponsored by CES. Making a positive change in the community is a key objective of Containers for Change. Finalists in this category have demonstrated how they are working within their local community for the benefit of their local community, including providing employment and volunteer outcomes, fundraising goals, and community engagement and awareness. Our 2021 finalists in alphabetical order are Ability WA, Avon Valley Cash for Containers, Care for Headland Environmental Association Inc. Oh, yeah, they're here. Good Sammy Enterprises, Green Skills Container Recycling Albany. They've made the trip up. And Northwest Recycling. Over to the big dog, Tim. Thank you, David. The recipient of the 2021 Community Engagement Award, sponsored by Container Exchange Services, is Good Sammy Enterprises. Thank you, everyone. I know there was stiff competition and every single one of those organizations are amazing. Um, I'm not sure many of you know, um, I hope you do, but Good Sammy exists to provide skills development and meaningful employment pathways for people of all abilities and with disabilities. And we're so proud of what we've been able to do through the Container Deposit Scheme to create new opportunities and new skills. And in fact, three of the wonderful gentlemen who work with us said to me tonight, what did you say, Jason? I'm never leaving. Uh, Mark said, I must enjoy it. I'm still here. Huh? And Dylan did a great speech the other day about what a great job and how much he's learned there. So I'm so proud of these guys. And this isn't my award. This is a whole organization award um, from the board who had the vision to the people who've come before us, to all these amazing guys who work at it and everybody else who mounted it up. But can I also say a special thank you to Minister Dawson for supporting us all the way and to the Worrell team for making us believe we could go it alone and we could do this. And that includes, you know, taking us, showing us how it was done elsewhere and making us believe that we didn't need to partner with anybody, that we could do this alone and that the power of community would triumph and it has. So thank you very much and we're very, very proud. Beautifully said, congratulations, good Sammy's Enterprises. 
Our next award is the Innovation Award, sponsored by Remondus. Is that right? Remondus? Remondus. Love it. Containers for Change encourages the use of innovative solutions as we work towards ensuring as many 10 cent containers as possible are safe from landfill. Finalists have demonstrated how they are implementing outstanding innovation with detail on the projected long-term benefits and the level of difficulty or ingenuity required. Our 2021 finalists in alphabetical order are, for the third time tonight, Avon Alley, Cash for Containers. City of Stirling, Container Refund Centre. Fremantle, Containers for Change. And Northwest Recycling. Tim, over to you, mate. And the recipient of the 2021 Innovation Award, sponsored by Ramondas, is Northwest Recycling. <laughs> So, innovation. Innovation's my thing. I love being innovative. <laughs> but not very good at speeches, so I'll hand you to Jody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's funny. Um, so, I was actually hoping that the community side of things is something that we'd win because that's my passion, but Jake is very good on the innovation side. So, Northwest Recycling, we're based up in Karratha. When we um, started the operation We've or when we were... Minutes. Two minutes. Sorry. This is... See, I told him I shouldn't talk. Um, our depot is off the grid. We've got solar power. We've used recycled products in our ash fell. We've got a bore, so we don't have... We're not connected to any... Um, services. We've tried to be as sustainable as we can be in our operations so that we're talking the talk and walking the walk. Carbon we're carbon positive. He's going to whisper in my ear. <laughs> so, um, thank you to everybody that supported us along the way. Um, to Minister Dawson for starting this and being there with us right from the start. Um, thank you for your support and over to um, Amber Jade Sanderson as well. Thank you very much. We've had lots of support from our local governments as well and commercial partners. Worrell. Worrell, Paige and Raf. You guys are great. And before the music starts, we're going to head off. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank Northwest Recycling stealing the show. What a legend. And our final award before we take a short break for Mains is the Local Marketing Initiative Award, sponsored by The Brand Agency. And I would like to invite the Honourable Minister for Mental Health, Aboriginal Affairs and Industrial Relations, Stephen Dawson, to the stage to present this award. Thank you, Minister Dawson. As many of you would be aware, Minister Dawson formerly held the environment portfolio and was instrumental in getting containers for change off the ground. We're extremely pleased and grateful he could join us here tonight and we celebrate the successes and achievements of Containers for Change one year later. Containers for Change is now the most recognised recycling program in Western Australia, if not Australia, and relies on its strong network and refund points to help translate the awareness to visitation at the local level. Finalists in this category have demonstrated they have initiated or participated in an effective local marketing campaign that promotes containers for change. And the 2021 finalists in alphabetical order are Avon Valley Cash for Containers, Care for Headland Environmental Association Inc, 
Cash for Containers Rockingham, MR Refund, and of course our legends, Northwest Recycling. Over to you, Minister. Thanks very much and congratulations, everybody. The recipient of the 2021 Local Marketing Initiative Award, sponsored by the Brand Agency, is Care for Headland Environmental Association. Congratulations. On behalf of Care for Headland, thank you very much. I just want to acknowledge everyone in the room as well. Everyone is a winner, so well done, everyone. I'd like to acknowledge Worrell. I'd like to acknowledge Paige, um, as well as Raf. Thank you. You got us across the line, Paige. Uh, also, just like to acknowledge we're blessed um, as a community environment group to have a principal partner in BHP the town of Port Hedland, as well as Northwest Telegraph and Northwest Signs. They're our partners for our program. Big round of applause. And just a huge thank you to all our staff, our volunteers, and importantly, our community in getting right behind this initiative. And also John, John didn't come up onto the stage, but John's been our graphics and communication man for nearly two decades. So thank you, John, well done. Beautiful, thank you very much. Thank you to Tim, thank you to the Minister as well. Now, we all know the one of the benefits of Containers for Change is the very real and very positive impact it has on our community. In the past year, more than 4,000 community groups and charities have signed up to the Scheme ID, including more than 800 schools. Altogether, Western Australia have already donated more than $2.5 million worth in 10 cent container refunds. That is unbelievable. Now, we already saw them earlier this evening. I'm going to start hopping off the stage because they've been doing backflips and stuff. They're killing it. I'd like to welcome back one of the organisations that is among those 4,000 benefiting from Containers for Change. Please make some noise again for the Turning Point Performance Academy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't think they could top their first performance, but they did it! They did it! Anytime you play the Titanic music over anything, it's always better as well. So, now, as you can see, I'm back on the ground with the mic, so fear striking through people's hearts, but I'm looking for someone in particular, and I found him. Here he is, Mr. Tony Gallardi, everybody. Stand up, please. We'll just face this camera here, if you can. Good, man. That's a firm handshake, my hand's now broken. Uh, now, Tone, uh, you've been a valued supporter of Containers for Change since the beginning as a first responsible supplier and also providing bag giveaways and raising awareness in your store. Why is Containers for Change so important to you? Well, it's for the future, really. It's about time they brought it to WA and uh, it's for the environment <coughs> and it's a good thing. Totally agree. Now, before we go any further, What's on the back of your jacket? <laughs> Have a look. It looks like a QR code <laughs> and eyebrows. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about that. Well, as you all know, it's a telethon coming up in the next couple of days. And uh, if we raise half a million dollars, I will show you 
these eyebrows. So <laughs> all you have to do is click in the QR code and put some money up. Every dollar counts, and it's for a really good cause. So WA, dig deep, and let's do it for WA. If, I don't know why you ought to have your phones out. Get your phones out, QR code this. Them eyebrows, they're coming off. Make a wig out of that stuff. <laughs> now, what do you think West Aussie businesses can do to encourage the public to recycle more? Well, we should get behind the system and support it and uh, probably acknowledge that it's uh, for the future. And uh, like I said, it's, it's a very good cause. Beautifully said. Thank you to Tony Galati. <laughs> Scan that QR code, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before I find my next victim, please pay attention to the big screens. Yeah, um, well, previous before this, um, you know, I was unemployed. And uh, when I went for the interview, they, they told me what the um, plan to change would consist of. And I thought, yeah, no, I'll get involved. But at the interview, I didn't realise how big it was. And, um, and, and it just meant so much to me now that, that I can see a change in the community. I can be a part of that change in the community. Um, you know, I was driving along today and um, you know, I seen a family out there collecting, collecting containers on the side of the road. I give them a bit of a toot in the truck and uh, you can see the big smile on the face and they're pointing at the truck. Um, and, and I, I actually can't wait to come to work in the morning. You know, no matter what time we start, we normally start about you know, half past five, six o'clock in the morning. Um, I actually can't wait to, uh, to come to work, you know. Yes, you know, I started, it, it, it was about, you know, the employment and, and, to, uh, and to gain an income. But now uh, there's less rubbish on side of the road now. And me and the other truck drivers, like, for us, like, we are part of the change. And so, yeah, no, it's, it means a lot to me. Um, Having a job like so if I'm in the pub or the other local football club or, or you know, at the barbecue with the families, I'm telling them now, don't put your um, containers in a rubbish bin. Or put them in this uh, designated area and, and you can go and cash some money in. So, yeah. Well, I've got the legends right with me now. Chris, I'll just get you here because the camera's just there. And I've got Cleve here, mate. Amazing. You're made for the camera. <laughs> that's a... Yeah, yeah that's a... Um, that's a yarn going around, yeah. <laughs> that's the yarn. I'm also here with Chris Guzenzow, is that correct? Yeah, it's close enough, that'll do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> General Manager of Abondus. Mate, what, is this, what does this mean to you? What does Containers for Change? What is this amazing story with Cleve? What does it mean to you? Yeah, look, Cleve, Cleve is one of our stories and, and one of the stories of, of the scheme. And, and like most businesses, we, we got involved from a, from a business point of view. It, it met a lot of our values. We, we love recycling at Ramondas and we went down that path. Uh, it probably wasn't until we employed Cleve and, and a few of our other drivers that, that we sort of changed uh, as a business, personally as well. We, we've, we've learned a lot. Um, we definitely operate different differently um, as a business. Uh, personally, we, we make different decisions. Um, Cleve and, and our other drivers, is, we really learned a lot. Um, the scheme that we heard earlier and the, the guys driving around picking up containers is, is absolutely fantastic. And, you know, what Worrell have done, and I remember the first, um, when Minister Dawson actually presented the scheme right at the start, and he said it was about family, it was about people, and, you know, we can't be prouder. We're happy, we're happy we're part of the scheme. And mate, you've just touched on it briefly then, but how, how has your business changed since joining Containers for Change? Um, look, I, I think it's, uh, like I said at the start, we were part of a business. Um, some of the stuff that we've implemented since then is more about people. Uh, it's more about an understanding. Uh, Cleve and the guys that we've had on board, uh, we, we've definitely learned a lot um, more personally, I think, than anything else. And I think the, the management team and, and, and Cleve and the guys that we've got around us, we've, we've learned. Uh, culturally about how we work differently and, and that's been really positive for us. Beautifully said. Before we go, Cleve, you love the camera, so one more. What does it mean to you to be involved in such a great cause? No, it means a lot. Um, before this year, I, um, I was, um, I'll say it how it is, I, I never had a job, you know. And to gain employment with these blokes here, I remember going and having an interview with Justin and when he said, oh, you know, I might give you a call in a couple of days and I walked out of the room and um, it was like overwhelming joy, you know, that I could be back in the workforce. 
And now I drive around, I see um, Northern Mere, I see all the towns and Lancelin where I go and service out in the wheat belt. Um, it's, it's like you said, it's a big family really now. I mean, I'm, I'm part of a footy community and now we've got a um, container for change community. So there's, you know, two, the big, it's a big family and it's good. Beautifully said. Put your hands together. Cleve and Chris, amazing stuff. We're going to go for a quick break. Enjoy your mains. I'll be back shortly. All right, ladies and gents, we're going to keep on rolling. Hope you enjoyed your mains. It's getting a little bit rowdy out there. I can feel it. And I love it. Uh, I would now like to welcome uh, back up to the stage, Warall Director Rebecca prince Ruiz, as well as CEO Tom Cusack to the stage to present our next award for the evening, the Community Participant Award, sponsored by the West Australian and Perth Now newspapers. Yes, round of applause, why not? Very graceful, Tim and Rebecca, very lovely, well done. Now, ladies and gentlemen, people working together in our community with a shared goal and common purpose can make the impossible happen. The Community Participant of the Year Award is for an individual organisation or business independent of Containers for Change who has demonstrated an outstanding level of participation. Finalists have demonstrated what they are doing within the community to help reduce litter, improve access to Containers for Change and or provide significant community benefit. And the finalists in alphabetical order are Graham Savage, Jaredale Community, Collective and Volunteer Bushfire Brigade. Logan Gregory. Oh yeah, Logan. This is odd. Old Bastards Association, Carnarvon Branch. <laughs> Outdoor Adventure Youth Group. And RTR FM. Rebecca, over to you. Thank you. So the recipient of the 2021 Community Participation Award, sponsored by the West Australian and Perth Now newspaper, is the Old Bastards Association, <laughs> Carnarvon Branch. Uh, thank you so much. Firstly, I need to acknowledge the fact that I am not one of the old bastards. <laughs> I am here as a representative and the person who nominated them. Unfortunately, no one was able to come down from Carnarvon to accept the award. And um, please, just one moment, I just want to open my notes. Um, this group really needs to be acknowledged for the amazing contribution that they've done. So I believe it's 2.5 million containers were donated to charity groups and, um, and uh, community groups through the year. Fantastic, amazing, amazing amount. Uh, I want to acknowledge the fact that 713,000 of those containers were donated to the old bastards. And that's a huge amount and really, um, they, that was due to their own work. They were out there collecting containers off the side of the roads. They were there collecting containers from local community groups, pubs, all over the, all over the place. They did so much fantastic work. In the financial year for 2020 to 2021 saw the OBs um, raise over $93,000. And that's the largest amount they've raised since 1983. And all of this has been donated back into the community. Isn't that fantastic? $93,000 donated back into the community because of their work. The key organisation that they donate back into is the Royal Flying Doctor Service and they donated $57,000 to them this year. So thank you so much. 
I want to acknowledge Anne Arden and John Wardle from the OBs in Carnarvon because it's really down to their hard work and everyone involved. So thank you so much. <laughs> Lovely, a young, vibrant person representing the old bastards. Perfect. Thank you, Rebecca. Wonderfully done. And for our seventh award tonight, I would now like to invite Warrell Chair, the Honourable Sheila McHale, to return to the stage. Thank you, Sheila. Our next award is the School of the Year, sponsored by AV Partners. Schools are a critical audience for driving participation in Containers for Change and supporting access to the local community. The School of the Year Award is a school for, or educational institution that has demonstrated an outstanding level of participation in Containers for Change. Finalists have demonstrated how the school has encouraged the recycling of 10 cent containers as well as any education undertaken within their school or local community or the environment and or social benefits of Containers for Change. The recipient of this award will also receive $2,000 to spend on marketing initiatives in their local community. Incredible. In alphabetical order, the finalists are Albany Secondary Education Support Centre. <laughs> Borden Primary School. The mighty Muck and Boudin District High School, PNC and Newton Moore Senior High School. Over to you, Sheila. And the recipient of the 2021 School of the Year Award, sponsored by AV Partners, and with a $2,000 prize to spend on marketing initiatives, goes to Borden Primary School. And while the man comes up to accept the award, let's take a look at why they have collected the prize this evening. We love containers for change. Hi, I'm Sinead Bowen and I'm the principal at Borden Primary School. We've fundraised over $4,500, which is a huge amount for our small school. My favourite moment fundraising so far has definitely been seeing all the kids' faces at their Rottnest camp earlier this year, which was made possible by the PNC, who were able to donate the school money off the back of their hard fundraising effort. I am Jamie and I work at the local pub. On board, it is the most easiest thing to do. You just designate, designate one bin. It's a great initiative for raising money for kids. The, the amount of money that they've raised has made an enormous impact on, on their community. Easy. It's good about the environment. It helps our schools. Say to other principals, of getting involved with Containers for Change that it's really worth the effort and time. Once you've got it all set up, it's an ongoing fundraiser. Um, everybody's got cans and stubbies and bottles and it's um, just a matter of you know, getting the community involved and getting on board in terms of donating their empties uh, to the school or to the PNC and basically um, it just runs itself and so it's really worth, worth it and um, a great, great initiative. Uh, we're very humbled and surprised at the moment and in shock. Um, we're, we were very, very honoured to be um, even nominated as a finalist. So to be up here representing Borden Primary School, we're very honoured. A big thank you to Worrell um, and Containers for Change. Such an amazing night that you've put on tonight, um, honouring all the finalists, so thank you. Borden's only got 30 students at its school. We've only got a couple of hundred uh, people in our community and um, we're very remote so we've raised almost seven and a half grand so to have um, 70,000 containers um, out of landfill so um. <laughs> we basically started the fundraising initiative because we're looking for ways to fundraise for our small little school and I cannot thank the PNC enough for everything that they've done um, getting the getting the whole thing started getting all of our communities on board, especially the board and pub. They've got all the um, 
fins out the front of the pub, which has been wonderful. And a big thank you to Michael Pemberton and Paul Leonetti at Albany. They come out every month and collect all of our containers um, off the back of their own hard work um, to go down to the refund points. So yeah, I'd just like to thank them very much for that as well. Thank you everybody. This is a huge success tonight on behalf of everybody that's in this room. Firstly, thanks to WARRL and also distinguished guests. And firstly, I want to thank you to these two lovely people that are going to stand up here on this stage tonight because without their help, Mr. Paul Leonetti and Mr. Michael C. Pemberton, our little primary school and the community wouldn't be where we are tonight. Their contribution to what they do is unbelievable. Not only just to Borden, Ongarup, Jerry, Boxwood, Bremer Bay, Gardner River Primary School, and on their way back to Albany, um, many feats. This is a great honour for these two. Also to the, um, the businesses that are part of the, the Wangarup Shire, the Borden Pub, Gina and Steve Batchelor, without their help and contribution, it's amazing. The Lily, Henny and Plume hits it. Also, the Stelling Range Retreat, Darren Fisher and Virginia Hummer, Amal Up Service Station, Dave and Carol Corwell. Also, the Lily, as Henny and Plune hits it. We also have the Yard Up Farm Stay, Richard and Ellen Milne, and also our lovely lodge, Stephen Rose Masley. Without these businesses as well that contribute, keep, like what Sinead said, 75,000 um, kilos of stuff out of our board and rubbish tip is unbelievable. So thank you very much, and it's great. Let's keep on going. Bring on next year. Just quickly, guys, um, when I first applied for the recycling my dream was always that, the, as people have said, the community have been so good to the business community and we've done really well in Albany. When we applied, it was simply to work for the community. We go all the way to Jerramungup and everywhere and we don't charge a cent. We pick up the local businesses all around town and we uh, donate the whole 10 cents back. So your little lamington drives and your sausage sizzles are now a thing of the past. And it was always because the problem you have, as you know, your sausage sizzle is the same two people that turn up to do the work. So my dream was that the community can get behind what we're doing. And certainly in the Great Southern, it gives me great honour to be here with these lovely guys and Borden as well, that not Borden, Ongar up that missed out as the citizen of the year or whatever, but we are doing great things in Albany only because the community are making it possible. So everybody in all walks of life all over through WA that are doing it, give it back to the community because it's fantastic. Thank you. Beautifully said. Three pronged speech. How good. Congratulations to all the students and staff at Borden Primary School and also thank you for travelling the four or so hours to get here today. We're getting closer to the end now, folks. I know you can feel the anticipation. I'm loving it. I'm loving being up here. It's been amazing. Uh, very shortly, we're just getting something set up on the stage here. It's going to be pretty incredible. While they do, I'll tell you a little about them. An ex-performer is known around Perth for her imaginative and incredibly skilled performances and we are absolutely delighted that she can join us here tonight. In a very short while, we're going to be seeing Flip Tease. So be prepared. Much, ladies and gentlemen, to can be we amazed. just give another round of applause for Flip Tease? That was unbelievable. I think we should have had the Guinness World Records here. I've never seen that many hula hoops in a room ever, let alone on someone's body. That was insane. Okay, it is now time for the final award of the night. The Change Maker of the Year Award, sponsored by Clean Away. It's my great pleasure to invite the Honourable Minister for Environment, Amber Jade Sanderson, to the stage, accompanied by Tim Cusack.
Tim's getting tired, but his glutes are getting bigger up those stairs. Damn. Celebrating the best of the best, the Change Maker of the Year Award recognizes the refund points that can best demonstrate the excellence across the five key celebrated tonight. Safety, customer focus, community engagement, local marketing and innovation. Finalists have also demonstrated how they have applied the objectives of containers for change. All finalists and winners of the individual refund point category awards were eligible for the Change Maker of the Year award. And the winner must have submitted an entry in all categories. The finalists in alphabetical order are Avon Valley Cash for Containers. Care for Headland Environmental Association Inc. City of Stirling Container Refund Centre. Green Skills Container Recycling Albany. And Northwest Recycling. Minister Sanderson. And the recipient of the 2021 Change Maker of the Year Award, sponsored by CleanAway, and with a $5,000 to spend on marketing initiatives is Avon Valley Cash for Containers. I say I'm actually quite emotional about this, but um, I am so privileged to be with some beautiful people that help me every single day. My family, my husband, who is my supporter and best friend, um, to my community. It's been amazing, the response that we've had um, with all that we've done. And like-minded people, I can't believe how we've got through this and our first year and how proud um, we all are to get where we have and this will just grow beyond anything. Thank you very much. Amazing stuff. Another round of applause. Beautifully done. And thank you to the minister. Well done. Now, Tim, have you got that microphone there? I do. Yeah, he's there. Here he is. We've been waiting for this all night. Bit of a chin wag. Now, Tim, how do you reckon the night's gone so far? The first one, come on, give us some feedback. I think the night has been absolutely fantastic. The bars in the room, uh, the uh, spirit amongst the group, it's been evident all day from the moment everyone arrived for the conference session this morning and it's just carried through the whole day, which has been absolutely fantastic. Now you just mentioned that. Can you tell me a little bit more about that conference? How did it go? What was, what was going on? So we took today out to talk to the Reef on Point team about the strategy that we've resolved for the next three years and what specifically we're going to work on in the next year. Mm. So we were able to share a lot of exciting programs and, and initiatives that uh, is about growing the scheme, making the scheme easier to access uh, and 
more relevant to the community and to support them in growing their businesses. Fantastic. And I think that leads on to my next question. It's been a remarkable 12 months, probably exceeded a, a, a lot further than what a lot of us thought. How do we top that this next year? Well, we have to. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. No pressure on any not of a matter you out of there. choice. That's what we uh, discussed today. Yeah. You know, we are absolutely determined to get 85% of containers sold in this state back for recycling. Mm. We are absolutely determined, laser-like focused on that objective. Um, you know, the government can fine us if we don't. So, apart from that, we are uh, totally believe in the recycling story, in the community base of the scheme, of the benefits that the scheme returns to the community for the, all of the things we've seen on display tonight. Mm. Uh, and 85% can just make all of that so much better. Totally agree. Well said. Tim, anything else you'd like to say to this amazing crowd here tonight? They've had a pretty incredible year, everyone in this building. What's the message from the big dog, Timmy? Well, my, my message to everyone in the room is, is a huge thank you. Uh, you know, it's not an insignificant thing we've all done is to build a dedicated supply chain from scratch, run it efficiently and achieve, if not exceed, our first year objective. It's a fantastic story, there's no doubt about it. And everyone in this room has contributed to that and everyone in this room will be needed to get us to the next level of performance. So that's my key message. Keep going, we're on this fantastic journey. There's so much more we can achieve together. Beautifully said. Put your hands together. Mr. Tim Kuzak, our fearless leader. Thank what you. a job he's doing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it from me and everyone. Thank you for a fantastic evening. So many highlights tonight. An incredible 12 months. And like the man just said, an incredible 12 months ahead. We've got work to do, but we've got the right people in the room to do it. Dessert is being served, I believe, right now. Yum, yum. And the dance floor will be open from 10.20 p.m. Once again, if you see me on there, probably evacuate. It's going to be horrendous. Get me out of here. And we'll be kicking you all out at about 11.30 p.m. But enjoy yourselves to then. Be responsible. Drink safe. Get home safe. Thanks a lot, everyone. Well done. Here's to a big 2022. But before we do have dessert, there's a couple more things we have to do. And uh, uh, importantly, a series of thank yous that I would like to take the opportunity just to, to say with you all. The first is a huge thank you to Minister Sanderson and Minister Dawson for making the time to be with us tonight. We've assembled an amazing array of sponsors and we are in great company uh, with those companies and we thank each and every one of you for contributing for, to tonight. I'd also like to thank the staff of Crown who have done a superb job tonight in looking after us, don't you think? And of course, to the Turning Point Dance Academy, Flip Tees, uh, Cameron Collects, Chris and Cleave, and Tony Gallardi, thank you for all making your contributions to making this night so successful. And we are live streaming tonight on YouTube, so to all of those who are watching the award ceremony, thank you for taking the time to join us as well. And of course, uh, it was mentioned earlier that there is at least one birthday happening tonight. Is there any more? Fantastic, can you please stand up? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear David and everybody else on the floor. Happy birthday to you. And I also would like some key members of my team 
who have, not my team, our team, who have gone over and above in helping deliver this fantastic event tonight. So I am going to ask Kristen, Brad, Candice, Nicola, Tess, Felicity, Ellen and Jess to stand up so that you can give them a round of applause. This event simply would not have been possible without your incredible contribution to every aspect of tonight. And of course, thanks, thanks to all of you for making the effort, for being here, and for making our inaugural Change Makers such a wonderful night. From here, we launch into the next phase of our journey together. We look forward to building stronger partnerships, enjoying more success, and celebrating again at the same time next year. But for now, all that needs to remain is us for, for us to dance the night away. Thank you.